Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I decided to film outside because it's kind of nice and temperature isn't that bad so I'm kind of happy but the light is starting to go down so I'm going to have to be fast. <laughs> okay so today, well today is Monday for you guys but today for me is Sunday and we went to crash a party and we found some really cute finds. Um, and this video is mostly going to be focused on the accessories that I found there. And I'm so excited to show you guys because I have a huge bag full of accessories to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get started and let's see what's inside this bag. Okay, so I had to push my chair back a little bit so you guys can see <laughs> what is inside here. So let's start with some scarves because I got a few scarves because you guys, it's starting to cool down here. and. Yeah, my hair's kind of starting to fall out today. <laughs> um, I just thought it'd be cute to have some cute little scarves and I can use them to tie around my neck and I can also use them to tie around my hair and things like that. So let's start with them. So here is this really cute red one and they're all nylon scarves and this one has little kind of kind of, like new kind of colored kind of spots or I think they were probably meant to be maybe little, kind of like raindrops or something but um, over the years it's kind of obviously started to come off a little bit but it's really cute um, and then I also got this little white one which is like a sheer nylon scarf and it has I would say these are like weird leaves <laughs> as you can see um, but again it's super soft and I cannot wait to wear this one Okay, I also have this one, which I've never had this kind of kind of style of one because usually I'm used to them being a lot wider, but this one, I just love the color and I love the pattern and I do have a lot of kind of cream nude kind of colored clothes. So I'm excited for this one. <laughs> and then to top it off, I then got this kind of cream beige kind of color. And I love this one too, because as I said before, I have a lot of nude color clothes and kind of tan clothes so I'm excited for this one <laughs> so that's all the scarves I got so there's four scarves and then we got a few belts <laughs> okay so as you know I love belts and I always have them on with every outfit I think this one I have today I have a little gold one that I did get from Crash Party and I am wearing this little knit shirt that I got handmade by Cole I'll link her Instagram here um, and she handmade this one for me and it's on from 1950s wool so I'm so happy with it and I think we placed an order for another one coming soon so I'm so excited <laughs> to see that one um, so yeah um, so let's talk about belts because I'll go off on a tangent so this one is kind of bright pink 1950s belt with little cutouts and then again it's good because um, I could make it as tight as I want or whatever I could use it as a waistband for jeans so it's like a good belt because I don't need to add holes or whatever so I really like this one <laughs> um, and then I also got this one which is a brown belt with a little horseshoe and this one is the ones that you just kind of clip in so like that and it just sits on your waist so this one I absolutely love <laughs> Um, okay, and as you know, I am obsessed with copper belts, and I've been collecting. I can't even say collecting. <laughs> I've been collecting copper belts for so long, um, and I found two at Play Clothes, and now I found this one at Crash a Party, and again, it has little leaves, and you just kind of unhook it, and then you hook it back together. There, I did it. I was like, oh no, it's not going to clip together, but I am so excited to have another one to add to my collection. So yeah. Um, okay, so what else? I also found this really cute khaki green belt with a kind of gold buckle and again it's super cute um, and I'm so excited to pair it with different things especially for the autumn coming in um, I'll start to wear kind of more autumn colours even though I'm kind of like oh, classic it's kind of Halloweenish colours <laughs> um, yeah so I just was like this would be nice for some winter stuff and even some summer stuff to be honest because I wear belts all year round in different colours so that's fine <laughs> um, <clears throat> what happened to my voice there? it like kind of popped or something <laughs> And then I also got this one, which I'm so obsessed with. And I don't even think it's ever been worn, you guys, because inside it's like brand spanking new. Um, 
so this one is kind of like a crocodile kind of full crocodile it's not real crocodile um and it's black painting and it is so cute on you guys i'm obsessed <laughs> um and then i got this one that i've loved like this kind of buckle design I mean, look how cute that buckle is. I'm so obsessed. <laughs> I know you guys are like, why is she so obsessed with belts? But honestly, I absolutely am. <laughs> I just love pairing them with different outfits and I love pairing them with like mix and matching and things like that. And the dogs are fighting on the couch. I mean, as I said, what is my videos without the dogs? <laughs> so here it's here. Um, it's super cute. Um, I love how it gets like thicker at the back and then thinner at the front. It's just so nice and it gives you that really nice hourglass shape. So I, that's why I absolutely love using belts so much. Gus, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, so there is one more belt that I want to show you guys. So this one is a black velvet belt and it has these kind of diamantes in the back. There are a few missing but I'm probably, I can probably like pick them up from any kind of kind of store it does jewelry. Gus, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, and then um, I also did get some velvet capris, which I'll be showing you guys very, very soon, <laughs> um, to match this. So here we go. Oh, my phone's dying too. It's definitely a good day for it. It's definitely a good day for filming. <laughs> um, but again, it has this kind of, it looks like a wave or something like the belt all the way around apart from the front so I'm obsessed and I guess you could wear, wear it like both ways you could wear this at the front and have the belt buckle at the back because I know there's a few belts that actually are like that from back then so definitely a good one to have because you can wear it both ways <laughs> okay so that is the belts um I think oh yeah it is <laughs> and I also got these really cute clip-on earrings they're kind of like a, a nude kind of beige, kind of pinky color. And it looks more dark, it looks darker like on the screen, but that is them. And they have little diamantes, little crystals around the edge. And so I'm so excited to reuse them. And they were 20 bucks, so not too bad. Um, and then I did get some bags. So this one I'm obsessed with because I have a pair of light pink um, Hollywood stiletto slides from Remix Vintage and I wanted a bag to match and we found a bag to match. It is has a gold kind of clasp, light pink with kind of hot pink. Okay, so as I was saying, this is a light pink bag to match my Hollywood Stilettos from Remix Vintage clo Clothing, I mean, Remix Vintage Shoes. Um, and it has hot pink um, stripes down the side, so I'm so excited. And it, like, it, look at inside of it, you guys. This is like a pink dream. I'm so obsessed with it and I can't wait to wear it <laughs> and use it. Um, and yeah, so what else? I also got this really cute, it's like a chocolate brown, um, I think they said it was a wool bag, uh, and it has the gold all the way around it, and this is from, I think it's the 40s, it's probably the late 40s, early 50s, um, but yeah, it's really cute inside, good condition, um, and I'm obsessed with it, you guys, so obsessed, um, and it'll be really nice for winter too, um, it's kind of like a cozy bag <laughs> it's like the cozy bag that's what i'm going to call it my cozy bag and there is some glitter on it but i don't know i don't know where that came from maybe it's from back in the 50s <laughs> so that is the other bag and then i'm leaving this one till last because mel from crash a party I, we were asking her because I was in the bag section for so long and I had no idea what bag to get and she was like okay if I was to pick one I would pick this one so I was like okay let's look at this bag um, and this one I had to save to last because it is so cool and there's like a hawk flying okay hawk <laughs> okay so here is here so it is it looks like just a normal gold and silver handbag with a clear handle but here is where it gets cool so you open it up and you're like okay nice little normal bag but here is the trick so i don't know if i can do it as well as mel could but so you see this front and then one night you're like i really love this bag i just wish it was i don't know a different color so what you do is i don't know if i can do this right but you can okay i don't want to rip this bag as you can see okay so as i was saying before my phone died <laughs> um so this bag is like this and then ta -da! 
so you can take it off and you can take this full thing off and you just have a plain kind of velvet bag or here we go are you ready <laughs> dun, 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 dun. you can turn it into a black painting bag too how cool is that so you're basically you have clothes for your bag like that is amazing to me <laughs> <laughs> when she showed me this I was so blown away by it I was like this is insane <laughs> um, so yeah I think this has definitely got to be one of my favorite bags because it's just so so cool I mean there's back to normal and you would never know like when we looked at it we just thought it was just this kind of bag we're like it's a cute bag we had no idea that it can change into three different bags so it's definitely one that I had to keep till last. <laughs> so that is everything that I got accessory-wise from Crash to Party. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe and give it a like and a comment. Um, I will be doing more hauls because I have some clothes to show you guys um, and more tutorials coming. Um, seeing as my brothers have all left and I'm sad because I miss them so, so much. <laughs> Um, but my little brother, he got he got so jet lagged. He was like texting me at nine o'clock our time, which is maybe four a.m. his time, and he was telling me about what happened to him in security before he got his flight because we nearly missed his flight. We had three minutes to spare because he's a pilot, so he he was telling us that it's only legal to let someone on board forty five minutes before the plane is going to leave, or else that's it. It's illegal, and the person can't go on the flight. So we had three minutes to spare, he got his cases. I said bye, I was crying in the car because I didn't get a chance to even think about crying then. And then we, he ran in and he went through security and then they had to search his groin area. And he's gonna hate me for telling you guys. Um, and he was like, they were like, we can do it here in a different room or we can do it, um, or we can, we can do it here or we can do it in a different room, whatever you feel. And he was just like, just do it here because I'm gonna miss my flight. And they did it there and he was like, it was so embarrassing. He was like, I did it, there was nothing there. <laughs> obviously um, and then he got on his flight and he made it and then he got to Dublin and then in Dublin they, they boarded his plane even though there was a plane in this spot that they were meant to be on um, and he nearly missed his plane to Glasgow literally he said by like a few minutes and then to top it all off he like lands in Glasgow and his cases are still in Dublin so I was like, well, at least you got home, <laughs> but your Casey's didn't. So he's, he said he's waiting for all his clothes to come back and he's going to do his washing. So yeah, so that was his fun story. <laughs> so yeah, so we're just being kind of, we took Saturday just to relax because I haven't had a day off for a long time. And since I was ill for so long, I've finally started to be able to eat normal foods and feel a little bit better. I've been able to catch up and work again. Um, and I just spent Saturday just in my dressing gown, lying on the couch, watching movies and catching up with some work. And it was nice, but I still feel tired today, you guys. I don't even know why, like how am I even tired? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm happy to feel better and I'm sad that my brothers have left, but I know that I'll be seeing them again soon. But anyway, me and aside I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check me on Instagram I'll leave my handle here and yeah so I hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week and I'll speak to you all soon bye